find that place. Yes, I found that place. We're holding the crap game tomorrow night in the Radio City Music Hall. How are you going to fix the ushers? I tried all the way to the place. The back of the cigar store, the funeral parlor. Nick, one time you said there might be a billboard garage. I was over to the billboard garage. I spoke to Joey Billboard himself. He said he might take a chance to let me use the place if I give him a thousand bucks. A thousand bucks? He's cash. He won't take my marker. The big marker's no good. What do you mean my marker's no good? A marker ain't just a piece of paper that says I owe you one thousand dollar sign named Detroit. A marker is like a pledge which a guy can't rupture on it. It's like not saluting the flag. <laughs> my marker's as good as gold. Only Joey Billboard, I don't think so. It don't seem possible, me without a livelihood. Why, I have been running the crap game ever since I was a juvenile delinquent. <laughs> hey, can't you do something? What can I do? I'm broke. I could not even buy Adelaide a present today. And you know what day today is? It is mine and Adelaide's anniversary. Yeah? Yeah? Yeah. We've been engaged 14 years. <laughs> Bye. 
body has to figure out a bet on which there is no chance of losing. Yeah, that's crazy bets, like uh, which lump of sugar will a fly sit on? Or how far can you kick a piece of cheesecake? Cheesecake! Ooh, look, run into Mindy's and find out how many pieces of cheesecake you sold yesterday, and also how many pieces of strudel. How much cheesecake and how much strudel? What do you want to know for? Just find out. Now, be it, here comes Adelaide. If she hears I'm running the crack game, she will never sit foot over me again. Hello, Mindy! Hello, Mindy! You'll go ahead, Doyle. You want to be a student of this one, Ryan? And struggle and send it with tomato, ketchup, and mayonnaise. We have a We gotta get back to the hot block. You're still rehearsing? Yeah. The slave driver, Charlie. He's been working this all day. Finally, I said, Look, Charlie, I'm starving. I gotta get out of here and get something to eat. And he said, You don't want something to eat. You just want to sneak out and meet the cheap phone next to Troy. So what did you say to him? I told him. I said, I'll meet whoever I want. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't upset yourself. What's up? How's your cold? Oh, much better, thank you. Thank you. Happy anniversary. A present for me? I hope you like it. It's a belt. Sugar is sweet, and so is jelly. So put this belt around your belly. That's so sweet. Look, honey, about your present. I was going to get you a diamond wristwatch with a gold band and two rubies on the side. Oh, man, you should now. It's all right. I did it. I'm sorry. It's all right. I kind of like it when you forget to give me presents. It makes me feel like we're married. What? <laughs> Yesterday, Mindy sold more strudel than cheesecake. 
John, the old guy said, like, I am sorry that I'm not able to bankroll you to a large start. But seeing as how I have no potatoes to give you, I'm going to stake you to some valuable advice. One of these days in your travels, you're going to meet a man. And this man is going to show you a brand new deck of cards on which the seal is not yet broken. And this man is going to offer the bet you. They can make the jack is big, jump out of the deck, and squirt cider in the game. But son, do not make this bet. For sure as you stand there, you're going to wind up with a near full of cider. <laughs> now, Nathan, I'm not saying that you've been clocking in these cheesecakes. You don't think that. But if you're really looking for some action, I'll bet you the same thousand. Don't know the color of the necktie you have on. <laughs> well, no bet. Black and blue. How appropriate. Nathan, would you get me to the front store? Don't bother me. How you doing, Sky? Good. How about you, boss? Not bad. Nice and like it, Nathan. Nathan, took Adelaide to the drug store. She said for you to meet her tonight at the hot box after the show. And don't be late. Yes, dear. I mean, <coughs> yes. Yes, dear? Nathan, that's husband talking by her, heard it? You're trapped. In Adelaide, you have the kind of job that's most difficult to do. Oh, I don't want you on the road. I love Adelaide. And a guy without a doll, well, if a guy does not have a doll, who would holler at him? <laughs> a doll is a necessity. Nathan, I'm not putting a rap on doll. I'm just saying a guy should have around what he wants them. And they're easy to buy. Not dolls like Adelaide. Nathan, very great to parade all dolls are the same. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Then how come you ain't got one? How come you are going to have an animal without one? I like to travel light. But if I wish to take a doll to a man, there's a large assortment of it. Not real high class dolls. Any doll. You name it. Any doll. And I name her. Will you bet on that? Will you bet a thousand dollars on it? I name a doll. You will take it to a man tomorrow. You have got a bet. I name her. Her? Cider. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
someplace else. Then have it someplace else. Where else can I have it? <laughs> Look, there's no one's guaranteed. Would I lie to you? Yes? I'm getting a sky mask. How do you know? It's a bet. I cannot lose. I better, I, I better be good not take a certain doll with him to Havana. Then why couldn't he? Because she ain't the kind of doll that goes to Havana. And where does she go? She don't go no place. That's why I know I'm going to win. Don't be so sure. It ain't a horse, it's a woman. Come <laughs> on, oh, you've got to listen to me. This is a choice. There will be no 
judges of corrupt games without taking out their own carnations. It's like a password. Okay, so where's the game? I'll tell you in a minute. <coughs> hey, is it all set? Can I tell the guys that it's in the middle of the garage? Not yet. I got stalled for a while. Joey wants his no fights. But it's almost 11 o'clock. It won't wait much longer, so sue me. I'd like to assume I don't know to wait for the money from the sky. It'll be there. Hey! Where's the dough? It ain't come yet. I told you to wait for it. I had to get some gold. I felt a little tight. Get back to the hotel, wait for the money from the sky, and don't come back without it, even if you start the debt. Okay, baby. Where's the game? Detroit, hey, Harry Dolores. How are you, Harry? How's everything in Brooklyn? Detroit, if you have no place for your family, tell us, and we will teach the elf where to get your tape. Just take it easy, Harry. I hope, Detroit, you will not spoil our evening, inasmuch as I happen to be entertaining a very prominent guest. I think you might have heard of him. I would like you to meet Big Julie from Chicago. Well, how do you do, Big Julie? Welcome to our fair <coughs> In which, as you know, the heat is on. But just be patient, and you'll all get some action. <laughs> what do you say, Big Julie? Shall we stick around, or shall we blow? A game is to crap. Let's shoot crap. Sure, <laughs> sure. Hey, if there's no crap game, I am sure Big Julie will be considerably displeased. And Big Julie does not like to be displeased. As you can find out from the citizen who will one time or another displeased him. Although, I will admit, it is very hard to find such citizens in view of the fact that they are no longer around and about. <laughs> Why, Harry, you don't think I would be so good as to displease a true gentleman like Big Julie here, do you? Big Julie, believe me when I tell you that Nate and Detroit, when Nate and Detroit arranges something. Well, well, well. An interesting gathering indeed. I see we have the cream of society here. <laughs> and in the auction, brandy bottle bit. Society Max. Liver Lips Louis. <laughs> and hey, Harry the Horse, all the way from Brooklyn. Pardon me. Not too good with names, but your face seems familiar to me. Mind telling me where you're from? East is through the north. Oh, and what do you do out there? I'm a scout master. Well, don't ever help my brother across the road. Oh, well, seems to me that we have the gathering of a bell, of course, blossom time. What's the occasion, Jack? Well, we need a party. Indeed. What kind of party? Ain't that a healthy? 
What the hell? Yeah. Yeah. I congratulations, Ned. <coughs> I just hope there's nothing in her relative. Ned, I've got so many things to do before we are home. You'll be at the show tomorrow night. I'll have a table reserved and I'll be all dressed up in whatever you will open. Oh, I'm so happy. I am a wife. Send the telegram and date it back. I better wait until we have five children. 
Oblast in a mission. Oh! 
not his friend yet. Even a man like Sky Mountain. He came to see some wrestling. He came to see me. Did you know that? Are you kidding? I knew that the minute he started picking on you. But I didn't know you were going to be a star I'll get over it. What do you want to get over it for? Not pneumonia.
that means any person. What a remarkably a man. <laughs> so remember that, you guys. Sister Abernathy, you're nice. Ladies and gentlemen, we are honored tonight. Our meeting will be conducted by the head of our organization, General Carter. Thank you. 